Do you want to save your team and your customers loads of time? Then Retune might just be for you. You can train your custom Retune chatbot to interact with your customers just like a human would. And when the chatbot is out of its depth, it has a human handoff feature so your team can take over right where the chatbot left off and help your customer on their journey. And there are loads more features. We're going to check out a lot of them in this video. Hi, my name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. I'm happy to have you here. Now let's get started. Retune lets you build AI chatbots. There's one down here right in the corner. This chatbot's name is DJ. It's built by Retune and you can have a conversation with it and it helps you with what you need focused on the Retune platform. So you can build one of these focused on your website, your platform, or your app, and have people talk to you with specific questions and it answers specific answers based on your platform. I asked it how many customers can it handle at once on one website. There's no set limit. It can engage at once, which is pretty cool. And you can hand off to humans as well if the chatbot runs into trouble. If I have an e-commerce site, can you look up customer information and share it with them? You sure can. It says here, does it in a secure manner? Not quite sure what that means because my feeling is if someone has my email address, they could come to Retune or wherever and enter my email address and say, here's my email. Can you tell me about my order? And then they'd share that information, I guess. What else could they really do to verify who you are? So it's not sure about the specifics for customer verification, probably because it hasn't been trained. This specific chatbot, DJAI, hasn't been trained. But you can train your own bot to do pretty much anything. Let's check out their platform. So here we are in Retune. I created a super helpful chatbot right here. To create a new bot, all you do is click on Create Bot up in the top here. Give it a name, a description, and boom, you're into a place that looks like this. This base prompt here is essentially an outline of the purpose of this chatbot. So this is where you'd, if you had an e-commerce site, this is where you'd say, I have an e-commerce site, I want you to reply professionally to my customers, I want you to look up information in our computers and our database and our website, and this will all be outlined here. And then the restrictions are stuff you cannot do. This would be where we would have it try to verify who people are before you give out information. Maybe you can ask it to look up their phone number as well as their email address or ask for the phone number just to make sure you have two bits of information to verify who they are. If you have trouble coming up with these, you can auto prompt. You have to have your OpenAI API key up and running for this, and then it will create these prompts for you based on what you enter in the auto prompt. And if you want to check out Retune, there's a link in the description down below. It takes you to AppSumo and it is an affiliate link. So if you end up buying through that, I get a commission, but it does not make it more expensive for you. It just helps me keep making these videos on YouTube for free. And I really appreciate the support. So if you buy through that link, thank you very much. Under train, you can upload files that contain your information that you want it trained on. You can upload text. You can have Q and A's, maybe they're on your website. You can train based off of those, maybe you have a knowledge base. You can add a website in here. You can actually add 200 websites into here and it will scrape the data from the website and train the bot based on that. You can give it YouTube videos. If you have a big YouTube channel with a lot of information, you have to do one at a time it looks like, but it will go grab the transcript and train itself based on your YouTube videos. That's pretty wild especially on a channel like mine where I've got lots of videos, the chatbot can pretty much do anything if it's trained on all my videos. Under capture, you can capture other data in a chat. So for example, I have created a phone and email capture. So basically what's gonna happen is at various points when required, the chatbot will ask for the customer's phone number. Can you please share your phone number so I can check your order status? Or the email, if I can scroll down to it here. Can you please share your email so I can check your order status? And you just create these by giving it a name. This is for your reference. This field tells the AI what it's about so it can analyze the input to see if it's correct. For example, if it's provide me a phone number, it's not going to accept a bunch of letters in place of a phone number. Or if it's an email, it's probably going to look for the at symbol and a dot and a top level domain at the end so it knows it's an actual email address. And under message, this is what the chatbot is asking for. In our example, it was, can you please share your phone number? so I can check on your order status. Then the chatbot can capture that info and work with it and potentially look up stuff on your website. In the conversation tab, these are conversations that your chatbot has had. Mine currently hasn't had very many. If we go to API, this is where we can connect to the API. If you're a developer, all this information here might be very useful. Under publish, this is how we integrate the bot. We have to add these scripts to our site. So we want to show a pop-up chat widget on our website. Got to include that. Show a pop-up widget in your website, powered by hooks, incorporate that. Identify with a specific user. For this one, if you have a WordPress site and you have users on your WordPress site, 
you can actually have specific chatbots tailored to specific users, which is pretty neat. And this would be super powerful if you had an agency and you had different things that each client needs and requires and different projects you're working on with them. And you train individual chatbots on their specific projects. And when they log in, they get a chatbot that knows everything about their specific projects. That's super cool. And there's a bunch of different ways to integrate it on your website. Then with integrations, we have WhatsApp, Twilio, Telegram, and Messenger. So you can have them connected directly to any one of these and talk to your customers based on what you've trained the chatbot to do. Under settings, we have settings to customize your chatbot. You can change the, the language model, change the limits, change the branding. And this applies to the chatbots like we see in the bottom corner here. This is the same as the one that we saw on the main website. Same idea, this is all the settings for that. If you're finding this video useful, please make sure you like and leave a comment down below. That way I know you're getting value from this video. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. I try to publish useful videos all year long. Now let's get back to this video. Under embedding, just creates a new chatbot. I'm not quite sure exactly what the embedding tab is because when I create a new one, so let's go to test, it creates a new chatbot that we train. So I'm not totally sure what the difference is between embedding and chatbots. Subscriptions, it shows what tier you're on in AppSumo. For the first tier, which I currently have, you only get one published chatbot. So if you had an agency, like I was describing earlier, and you trained each bot to your client's specific projects, you'd want to have many of these, probably the uh, unlimited published chatbots if you're an agency. If you're a freelancer, maybe 10 would do. Maybe five would do, depends how many clients you have at a time. You could reuse the chatbot. If you have a client roster that comes and goes, for example, you build websites for people, so you, you finish the site and they move on. You could reuse that chatbot for a new customer at that point. And if you go to the top tier, you can even have unlimited workspaces. So you could have a workspace specific for every client, not just a chatbot for every client, but a workspace for every client as well, if you wanted. In the playground, you can test your chatbot. You can interact with it here. Creator beta allows you to access webhooks. You can request access and you can use webhooks for your chats as well. Under recipes, there's a few different things you can see here, basically case studies and walkthroughs of how you can do these specific things using these recipes. Under settings, this is where you add your open AI API keys. And I save roadmap for last because the roadmap is pretty super. I actually have it on a new, new tab here. There's a lot of stuff happening in the roadmap. So on the right hand side, we have shipped what has been created and shipped. You can click into any one of these and it shows what it's about, what people are chatting into it. And as you can see, there's a lot of upvotes and a lot of comments. There's a lot of stuff going on. So come to this page and read through it because there's a lot, a lot in the shipped column. There's not much in the next in line. This is the development column. And there's a huge amount in the idea column. Next up, check out this video right here, which is all about helping you get more visitors to your website through SEO, search engine optimization. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn from Limitless LTDs. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.